You think Jesus could do anything right here in Las Vegas, Sin City? I believe that what God is doing is he's creating an eternal testimony. And what we know is when we can come together under a spirit of unity, nothing will be impossible. Hello and welcome to another episode of Las Vegas United. I'm your host, Aaron Pino. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your schedule to join us right here where we are partnering together with God, creating eternal testimonies of his goodness, mercy, and power in our very own backyard, the most wonderful city in the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. I, I like Las Vegas. I'm sure you guys do too, yeah. uh, What you said you did. So yeah. yes, we love <laughs> Las Vegas. Um, hey, listen, if you're watching this on Keen 17, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your schedule to watch this every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Or maybe you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, or maybe even you're streaming this on iTunes or Spotify. However you're getting this, I want to say thank you for being part of our Las Vegas United community and really the CTN community. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, without further ado, we have some great guests on the show. They've started here recently. Mm-hmm a brand new youth program on CT in Las Vegas, which y'all are crushing the game, okay? You. You're yeah. doing a great job. Uh, but would you help me welcome Billy and Ashley Spriggs. Welcome to the show, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks for Happy having to us. Happy to join you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's great having fellow hosts on the show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does it release the pressure a bit for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know, I don't know about how it is for you guys, but sometimes... You know, every now and then we bring people on the show where you have to do a little bit more work to mm-hmm. have right. the conversation be yes. pulled out of them. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So you kind of have to like ninja and finesse yeah. them, you know, a little bit. So <laughs> with you guys being fellow hosts, uh, I'm going to let you all finesse yourselves. <laughs> okay. You don't put that pressure on us now. <laughs> <laughs> turn it over to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's now your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, right? right. Um, so, yeah, uh, tell our audience a little bit more about you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, take Go. it away. Okay. Take it away. Uh, yeah. So we're Billy and Ashley, and we host the Firebrand Show yeah. here on Woo-woo. CTN yeah, Vegas. Cool. The Firebrand Show. The Firebrand Show. Uh, yeah. The Firebrand Show. The it's Firebrand Firebrand Firebrand. important to have the V there. The the. However you say it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we moved to Vegas in the fall of 2022. Yep. So about a year and a half at the time of this filming, and um, we moved here to plant a church. With some friends, it's called Vita Church. It's a yeah. bilingual church. Let's go, Vita! And uh, yes, we are rapidly learning Spanish <laughs> <laughs> and uh, falling in love with our community here. Mm. And uh, yeah, we have three little kids yep. that keep us very, very busy. And uh, that's awesome. Yeah. We love How it. old are your kids? So right now they are two, five, and six. Yeah. Wow. So the two and the six-year-old are about to turn three and seven. So oh, that's they're awesome. all about two years apart. Yeah. Isn't it awesome being a parent? Uh, yeah. It, most of the time, Most yes. of the time. <laughs> <laughs> this week, my daughter, she's like five now, right? So like yeah. 15-year-old, basically. She's going on 15. So I feel like we're using our own like oh, show to be like, you should watch this episode about who God says <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, <laughs> man. No, I, I feel you. So we have, my wife and I, um, we have a 10-year-old son. Mm. who's turning 11 at the end of the month, and then we have a seven-year-old daughter okay. who, you know, everyone says, just wait till they're a teenager, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, we say, we say we don't have to wait till she's a teenager because she did the teenager thing whenever she was three. Yeah. So she was a three-nager. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Um, which, shout out to my daughter, Bella Rose. Love you, girl. <laughs> right? I don't know if you ever see this or not. But yeah, <laughs> being a parent's awesome. So yeah. you guys have three kids. You've yep. been in Las Vegas. Uh, you said about a year and a half, Just about, right? Yeah. Vita Church. We got a shout out to, yes, to the Penas. They're yeah. awesome. Amazing people. We've yeah. had them on the show. Yes. They've been here in the, in the Vegas Valley for a long time. Yeah. I want to say, um, what, yeah. nine years now? Nine or 10 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nine years. 10. Yeah. They've, they've been a yeah. part of three church plants here. I know. And yeah. yeah. That's and awesome. they know how to plant church. Like, yeah. uh, we have never planted a church ever. And they were like, You want to plant a church with us? We're like, Yeah, sure, we're in. You know, it took me a little bit of time to be like, Yeah, let's move to Vegas, right? Let's move our little family <laughs> to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, but honestly, the best decision. And on, we've learned so much. Like, we've been in, we've been in youth ministry for over a decade mm-hmm. together. And then a couple of years on beyond that. And this is, I think the most we've grown wow. ever. Like we've wow. been so challenged. And I think it is because we're church planting. When you yeah. church plant, you have to learn every facet of yeah. church. <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. You definitely have to be diverse in yes. what we do. <laughs> yeah. And not just not just like the lead guy, right? Because we plan our church too. I mean the entire team. You yeah. gotta you're in. You gotta bob and weave. You gotta yeah. know how to work with people. You gotta do exactly. the whole thing. Yeah. Interest parties, mingling. Yes. Um, you know, it yeah. for 
Yeah, anyway, we could talk about church plan yes, all day. We We're not going to do that because <laughs> I want to get to the Firebrand show. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. Yeah. Um, so tell us how you got to Vegas. You told me a little bit about this earlier. Yeah. yeah. You're from Pittsburgh, yep. Billy. You're from Ohio. Yes. Ashley. Midwest, I know. Yeah. I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your journey and how you land up here in Vegas. You told me it earlier before yeah. the show. Yeah. I just, I think it's really interesting. So, yeah. 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 yeah, I'll tell it. I'll tell it quickly. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. there's a lot to there it. There is but, a lot to it. Yeah. Um, I would say probably about seven, eight years ago now. Um, life in Ohio. You know, we just had our first child. Um, it was tough, dark season. So we needed somewhere fresh and new. Friends invited us to come live with them in Vegas, or sorry, yeah. in Phoenix. <clears throat> so we moved to Phoenix, blind, never been there. Like Sent our stuff out. Booked a ticket. Booked wow. a plane ticket and flew out. Took our six-month-old across country. <laughs> yeah. And so we ended up in Phoenix. Um, they're like, you can stay with us as long as you need to to figure out life. Within the first couple of months, we were like, we love it here. We're going to yeah. stay. Um, found our own place and put roots down and yeah. found church. Joined that church uh, on staff as the youth pastor. And then uh, a few years go by, and we just felt our season was coming to a close there. Mm-hmm. And through that journey, we met Joe and Danielle. Mm -hmm. Um, They were part of that same church as a plant or as a location here in Vegas. And so um, that relationship with them formed and we're thankful for that. You know, that was one of the highlights of our time in Phoenix was getting to know the the Peñas. And, you know, we took a road trip last or in 2022. Yeah. Tried to find other avenues of ministry. (laughs) You said it was a, what, a nine Nine and a half week? Nine 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 weeks. weeks. We started in Phoenix and... Basically did a big yeah, circle around, around the U.S. With our three children, who were <laughs> at the time one, three, and five. Yeah. Y'all were soul searching. That's what we that really trip were. was. Oh, yeah. yeah we called yeah. it a sabbatical, but really we were like, Lord, where do you want us to go? Yeah. yeah. We, we loved uh, Phoenix, but it just didn't feel like home anymore. And so yeah. um, we gave six, six years of our life to Phoenix, and then the Peñas asked us. And that nine-week road trip, it wasn't until uh, seven weeks in, six weeks in, we were at Glacier National Park, and Montana. I'll never forget our kids were sleeping in the car, and we were like, shoot, they're sleeping. We're not going to get any pictures <laughs> at Glacier. <laughs> um, as you know, as a parent, you don't wake your kids up, right? Yeah. And um, so we parked the car at this, like, overlook, and I got out, and I have a picture of us, and it's just the two of us, and it was the moment that I looked out. I just started sobbing, and I knew God wow. released all the pain I was experiencing. Everything was like, Powerful. it was just like this moment of, like, God being like, I got you. Why yeah. are you worried? Just say yes. Like, yeah. just say yes. And it was the, at Glacier National Park, which is wild because Danielle is from Montana. Pena is from Montana. Oh, really? Yes. And grew oh, up man. an hour away from <laughs> Glacier National Park. Well, so I always go. am like, did she like pray for that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> she went to the glacier when she was a little girl and prayed. Yeah. Like, There's this girl, Ashley Sprague. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was the moment that I was like, no, I think we're supposed to do ministry. Yeah. So we With ended, the Penas. We ended our Vegas. road trip in Vegas. Yep. Wow. Um, Vita had been doing a few interest nights, some worship nights mm-hmm. leading up to their launch in September of 2022. And so we stayed with them for a few weeks mm-hmm. in Vegas, the Penas. Um, we, we had said yes at that point. Yep. And so we traveled a few weeks back and forth from <laughs> Phoenix to Vegas. We'd come out on like a Friday, mm-hmm. go home on a Monday, get our life sorted. And then finally... <laughs> Um, one of the weekends we were here, we uh, found a house mo- to move into, and it happened within days. And we were like, we, we got to go home, days. pack up all our stuff, move That's it back awesome. the next yeah. weekend. Yeah. And so wow. we moved, moved back and have never looked back and loved it ever since. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I love to hear people's stories <laughs> yeah. because nobody has the same story. Yeah. And uh, Vegas has a way of just, not in a bad way, but just engulfing people. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's nicely put. Yeah. Go, Vegas sucks people in. Yeah, you know it does. I mean? <laughs> that, I mean, that's that's really yeah. what happens. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, yeah, the season you were in, the fact that you, you know, I've 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 taken those long road trips too. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, I wasn't on Physically sabbatical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I was for me. I wasn't on sabbatical. I was saying, Lord Jesus, you got to open something up because. I don't know what we're about to do. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And then to land up here and then with such an amazing couple, the yeah. Peñas, yeah. you know, yeah. their whole family are great. Um, so you jumped into Vita Church and now yeah. you guys are, uh, I mean, bilingual ministry, yeah. youth ministry. Yeah. You have your show. So talk to us about youth ministry and how that segued into what you guys are doing now at CTN. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so yeah, I'll take you. that one. Um, but because it, it's <laughs> it, such a wild story, yeah. honestly, it's it's 
it is completely God ordained is the only way we can describe it. So we've been, like I said, we've been doing youth ministry for 10 plus years together mm-hmm. and then some years beyond that individually. Um, and both of us from a very young age knew that we were called into youth ministry that like, we didn't know each other. We just knew that like, yeah. I know I'm going to be in youth ministry until I'm 70 or the Lord kicks me out before then. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, yeah. I want to be the like 60 year old, if God, whatever other <laughs> title God gives me, but I also want to be in youth still. I don't want to leave it. Like mm-hmm. I never want to leave youth ministry. And so for us, like now we're in our thirties and it's like, what does that look like? Right? Like we're the 30 year old youth pastors. <laughs> hey, you know, Jenny Mayo, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Jenny Mayo is like, you know what I mean? She's, I don't know how old she is, but. She's like an OG youth pastor. Yeah. She's one of them. Yeah. yeah. You're very young compared to Jenny. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She's ready for a while. So yeah. Yeah. don't worry but about like, that. But like, that's my inspiration. You know, we've got people in our life that we look to like that, that are lead pastors while also still involved in youth ministry in some way. Mm-hmm. So we're kind of in that season where we're like, we know we want to keep doing youth ministry in a church, but then what does it look like outside of that God? And we've had dreams on our hearts to reach the next generation at a more wide net scale, if you will. We've had dreams of conferences and, you know, live next gen events and things like that, that you do see other people doing. We've had those dreams too. And so, yeah, anyway, that's a dream that kind of like lay dormant for about six, seven years. Mm -hmm. We just never brought it up again. It was like, we were plowed down head focused on what God had in front of us in that season. And um, we moved to Vegas. And then within uh, like four months of living in Vegas, Joe got invited to do the Fresh Word here at Mm -hmm. CTN. And him and Billy were gone. They were on a men's retreat, pastor's men's retreat in California. And so he couldn't do it. So he called Danielle and was like, Danielle, do you want to do it? And Danielle goes, I don't feel like I'm supposed to do it. Let's send Ashley. I was like, okay, cool. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll go. (laughs) You all just pass that down the ladder. Um, So I show up here, and I'm sitting, and I'm talking to Julie and Javier, which are the station producers here, and um, incredible people. And I'm talking to them. They're here in our heart, and I'm telling them kind of what Billy and I's vision is for our life, who we are. And they were like, hey, we have this idea for a new show, and we have Mm. yet to find hosts for that. So will you guys pray about it? I didn't have to pray about it. I literally was like, yeah, we're in. And they're like, do you want to talk to Billy? And I was like, no, no, no. Like, (laughs) (laughs) Like, speak for the both of us. (laughs) I'm telling you right now, he's going to say yes. Uh, Um, And then sure enough, yeah, it just like transpired into that. And so, yeah, we have just such a heart for the next generation. And um, youth, young adult, like that whole like age group is just what we pursue yeah. and what we like have our focus set on when it comes to building the kingdom. Well, even just to, to tie a pretty bow around it all, um, when she, you know, she mentioned that we, from a young age, we had the, the desire and passion to step into youth ministry. Mine started when I was 15. Wow. Oh yeah. This a, is crazy. You'll love this story. Um, yeah. so I was in Pittsburgh and, uh, my youth group was going to a youth revival in Brownsville, Florida. And the name of the event was branded by fire. Yeah. So yeah. we got here, and they're like, the name of the show that we want to do is called Firebrand. Yeah. I'm like, well, <laughs> dude, you went to Brownsville Revival. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was, Go it ahead. was, it was after, so it was 2003. Only certain age groups know that. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. hey. It was. 2000- What's Brownsville? Yeah, was, what are you trying to say? Word? Certain age groups. I can't, I can't be a part of your youth and young no, adult. You are. Club. You're right. here, man. We're with yeah, you. I'm so telling you what right now. 2003 was when I was made it down there. Okay. So wow. it was after the. Like the main revival that had happened. Sure, sure, sure. With um, Kirk Steve and Hill. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, so we I did that to fifteen. That's that's when I felt you know the calling for youth ministry in my life. And so, mm. um, but then full circle, come back to Vegas wow. here, here and we got a, yeah the show Firebrand. <laughs> I'm like wow. It's absolutely yeah. wild when you think about that. Let's just <laughs> it's like literally like fifteen years because he's fifteen years from that. More more than now, but yeah, twenty years. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I didn't age right. <laughs> math is not my strong suit. If you watch the Firebrand show, you know math is not my strong suit. Well, so mine either. You know, yeah. I mean? yeah. So I've got a billion in my life. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it's all good. So, yeah. um, why why youth and young adults? Yeah, oh, that's such a good question. Um, why not is always our response. Like I feel like the only way the future of the church, the future of the world, is going to be good is if you pass the baton well. If you don't pass the baton well, you're setting the next generation up for success and they're going to be wandering the wilderness for 40 years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so um, for us, we just want to pass the baton well and we'll do that until the day we die Mm. because you're constantly raising up the next generation. The next generation is being born every second of every day. Yeah. You know, and so why not reach out? Like, why not make that your focus? Why not make that your passion and what you pursue? And passing the baton well is something we are just incredibly passionate about we just want to do it well i would even add to that like you know we both had great experiences with youth leaders and youth pastors that were like in our corner always there for us and so 
you know, to see that example, I want to be that example to yeah. other teenagers. You know, that's one of the things that kind of keeps pushing us forward. Mm -hmm. And then just seeing like the trajectory, uh, generation to generation, how, how they are interacting with the church and faith and to the point where we are with Gen Z and stepping into Gen Alpha, you know, we want to, we want to turn that, turn that back around and get yeah. these people back in church, you know, and it starts yeah. with, you know, the young age, that's where they're most impressionable. That's where they're most mm -hmm. willing to learn and grow. And so yeah. we just want to be able to lead them in the right direction. Yeah, I love it. You know, they say statistically 80% of people get saved before they're 18. Exactly. Yeah. And even you guys sitting across the table from me, right? This yeah. is one thing I notice. Mm. You guys are like, we had a great experience whenever we were youth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, you know, whether it's Brown, Brown, Brownsville Revival, being in church, whatever. Yeah. You guys were impacted whenever you were teenagers, and now you're like, hey, we want to do this with our life mm -hmm. and impact other people. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep, that's good. Well, go ahead. Kudos to y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kudos to y'all. So talk to me about Firebrand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, such a cool show. Anytime I'm here filming, I see like the, like the neon screen back there. I'm thinking to myself, I want, I want a neon screen too. Like, yeah. why can I get one? That, like, you got that the neon, TV wall, no? Yeah, I got, we got the TV right, but I'm like, I bet neon thing's pretty cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... Um, yeah, talk, how's the show going? What do you guys think? Like, yeah. how, talk to me about the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been so fun. Honestly, like, it's youth ministry in 30 minutes. Wow. It is. Because we have fun. We talk pop culture. We hit real issues. But then we just answer questions that teenagers are asking every single week, every single day. They're going to TikTok for a search bar to say, how do I find my purpose? Or what does God say about me? Or whatever it might be. We get to provide that in a long-form content, like the show. And so... Yeah. <laughs> we just have fun. I don't know. That's pretty much all I can say about it is that it's fun and it just is natural for us, I think. Yeah. Um and yeah, I yeah, it just feels like the night the 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 right next thing. So do you yeah. guys do like so today like we've had a couple different guests and do you guys film like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys like yeah. we bunch it up as Absolutely. much as we can. How do you guys get your guests on the show? Yeah. So oh, a yeah. lot of them are through relationships that we've formed over the years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other people that are in ministry that we've known um, some are people that, you know, we see the same type of call that they have on yeah. their life for the next generation. Yeah. You know, we send the invite out, but I would say more often than not is through people we know or mm -hmm. through another connection. Yeah. And so, yeah. um, we're hoping to broaden that, that net and get some, you know, some more, uh, experts and yeah. In, in the field. <laughs> uh, but relate, but someone I mean, like, like a Jenny relationship. May, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jenny, yeah, Jenny May, that'd that's, be great. Has been in, in the ministry for years and has wisdom upon wisdom. Yeah, yeah. relationship is key. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, uh, like everyone we've had on the show has come through some kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. even you guys, you know, we had Joe and Danielle on. Yeah. That's how they the entire thing. Yeah, the trajectory I, of it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's just uh it's people and we yeah. talked about this a little bit earlier before the show like like we're on the same team, y'all. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yep. even though you guys might go to Vita, even though we might go to Overflow, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the purpose of our lives is still the same. It's yeah. to advance the kingdom, yep. to call people to G you know bring them in, bring them in, give them Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. So, what's been some of the highlights for Firebrand for you guys so far? <laughs> First of all, how many shows have you guys done? Um, okay, fifteen. So, yeah, fifteen are out. Okay, we're yeah. filming Go season ahead, two right now. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We're filming season two. We got fifteen out. That was wild. Like I did not realize. Okay, so I own a media agency and I help produce podcasts, and okay. that's like one of our services we offer. And I'm doing that all the time, right? And I'm like, great. Yeah, I feel like I, when they asked us to do this, I was like, oh yeah, I actually have a little bit of knowledge in this. No, TV is so different. Okay, <laughs> like <laughs> way different. Like yeah. And I, that's honestly been a highlight for me, like learning another form of media as a media nerd, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like as someone in the media nerd space. But um, I think one of the other big highlights, I think we both would say this, is seeing our teenagers love it. Um, like yeah. the teenagers in our youth group and the youth groups that we're connected to. Like we have um, some friends that watch the show in another state and they watch it with their teenagers. That's and cool. like just yeah. super cool. And now it is airing in their actual state. Like the Firebrand show really? is on, on CTN, CTN Lifestyle, Lifestyle in well, their state. So now they can ahead, watch it. Go ahead, <laughs> And so it's super cool to see that. Um, but honestly, like our teenagers love coming in the studio and being part of the show with us. We'll have them on for the fun segments. Yeah. Um, and even just bringing them into the – the, the behind the scenes. Yeah. Like, what like, do you guys want us to talk about? What do you, what are your questions? Like, this is not, this is what we always say about our, any youth ministry we are an oversight for, if you will. Mm -hmm. This is not our youth ministry. 
yeah. this is the next generation's youth ministry. We are just the ones pastoring it, shepherding it, making sure it's moving forward in a direction. And so what do you want it to look like? Because you need it to look a way that is inviting for your friends, that you want to bring your friends to it. Same thing with our show. We don't want it to be something that you are you don't want to send your friends. Yeah. So do you want oh, to hit sure. share or not? You know? Yeah. <laughs> so our students come in and they speak into that. They're part of the fun moments. And that's, that's awesome. been a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what about you? Uh, ditto. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Every- that word's so cool. Don't say that. <laughs> sure it is. You know what I mean? Echo everything you just said. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whatever they say these days. <laughs> I whisper everything you just said right now. You know what I mean? I, right. ASMR. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I dream to do a full ASMR episode, and I get shot down every time. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I just want to do a full it. Yeah. Yeah, why is that so popular? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it'll come and go. Yeah, know? it'll. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's it's. it's co- it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. You know what it's I mean? adapted. Now they're doing silent reviews of books, makeup, movies. It's hilarious. It's really? adapted. Yeah. Silent now, reviews. I'll be honest. I kind of did. You know, a dive into the ASMR thing. Yeah, yeah. They got, I've seen people reading the Bible yep. ASMR. Mm-hmm. I'm like, something you're putting me to shit. sleep. That's so yeah, nice. I'm like, something about this isn't right. You know what I mean? Like, this is, uh, yeah, I feel a certain kind of way about this. It's, yeah. it's um, cool. So, um, who's been your favorite guest so far on your show? Ooh. Oh, to choose a favorite. Uh, oh, that's so hard. I know you got to pick one. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know if I can pick. Uh, I'm going through the list. Who's been your least favorite? No, I'm teasing. Don't answer that. All right, don't answer that. The co-host. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I've got mine. Go ahead. Um, mine is our friend Elliot Bland. He is okay. Okay. in SoCal. Um, he's part of the SoCal network over there for Assemblies of God, and it's the network that our church is in. Mm-hmm. Um, and he does, he's the Youth Alive missionary, so his whole mission is to go into other youth groups and help equip students to become missionaries on their in their oh, in, on cool. their campus whether it's school or in their their um, workplace or in their family whatever it is and we did we had him come out and him and his wife and their kids they stayed with us they're really good friends so it was just so fun the whole weekend but during the show we talked so long we ended up having to split the episode into two because it was oh, that cool. powerful and necessary and it was all around like why should I be friends with non-believers Mm. which is one of my favorite things to talk about with teenagers because growing up I had my Christian bubble and I wasn't sure. allowed to have friends with be friends with oh, non-believers. Yeah. They weren't allowed to come to my sleepovers or whatever. And that's just how it was back then. But today there's just this like understanding that like that's how you reach them, you know? Yeah. And so it was one of my favorite conversations and yeah. the right person for it. But, yeah. Oh, that's good. I can't think of a favorite. <laughs> you just don't want to say it. Uh, like it's these Joe people are all Pena, my friends. Say, that's your safe one, Joe and Danielle. <laughs> yeah, Joe and Danielle. The, the Pena's, there you go. Yeah, that was a good episode. That was a really good <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, that was a good episode. I love that uh, one. Yeah. yeah, you know, that, that's, uh, come on, you don't really have a favorite, man. Come on. I See, for me, like for for our yeah, show. who's your favorite on Last Vegas United? Oh, man. No, I'm interviewing y'all. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm interviewing you y'all. could host this together. No, you know what? Uh, I think some of my favorite people... Um, Anytime Javen's on, have you heard yes. Javen? Yes. Yeah. Um, he's always he's always a gem whenever he's on. Mm. And then here recently we did one with First Choice Pregnancy Services Whoa. as well. You guys know about them? No. So they uh, they uh, they are the abortion abortion rescue clinic. So okay. right downtown here, like there's a cul de sac, and in that cul de sac is like a gentleman's mm. club, like bathhouse type thing. Uh, the Planned Parenthood, and then they're right there, First Whoa. Choice Pregnancy Next Services. Yeah, so they, oh. uh, yeah, that was really cool. Those those gals are really great. We it was one of those where we split up into two. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was really fun. That's cool. And then we just had Annie Lobert and uh, and her husband on. They were they were they were a hoot. They were probably my favorite off screen. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they just. Annie's Annie's something else, yeah. you know. She has yeah. a show here too on yeah, yeah. on CTN. But yeah, I mean, it's it's been good, you know. Javier and Julie make this thing really easy, they fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so whenever they told me, well, for a while, whenever <laughs> I first started my show, they're like, "We want to start a youth show," and I said, "Bro, <laughs> I've done youth ministry before." And the grace was never there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it hasn't even lifted. So I'm like, I yeah. can't help you out there. So I'm really glad yeah. that you guys were able to make the connection. Yeah. Start fire the Firebrand show. Yeah. Don't yes. forget the in there. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? That's amazing. So if people want to get in contact with you, find out more, what's the best way for them to do that personally? Then what time do you your show is your show on? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
So go ahead. Yeah. Um, so you can find us on Instagram and TikTok at The Firebrand Show. That's super easy mm-hmm. at The Firebrand Show. And now YouTube. And now YouTube. We have our own YouTube go like, ahead, channel. Y'all. So yeah. at The Firebrand Show on YouTube. Yeah, um, we're so. currently re airing all of our season one episodes over there to mm-hmm. kind of catch up with everything while we film um, season two. And uh, yeah, when do we air? When do we air? Friday nights. No. We air Thursdays at 7. We <laughs> air Friday nights on CTN Lifestyle. It's like confusing for us because time zones now that we're on CTN Lifestyle. But here in Vegas, we air on Thursdays at 7 p.m. That's right. But then for CTN, CTN Lifestyle, Lifestyle, we air on Fridays. And I'm going to chop the time zone, so I'm not even going to try it. It's on CTN Lifestyle on Fridays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can I'm put sure it all right I'm sure they put here. it somewhere on the screen, <laughs> yep. you know what I mean, for all time that zones, stuff. It's yeah. complex, yeah. Very, it's like midnight our time. I don't know. It's like really. It's too complex for me. 9 p.m. here. Yeah, I have no idea. Midnight East Coast. Midnight East Coast. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Teenagers so. are up, you know, Friday nights late scrolling. Oh, that's so very true. So if we can get them to tune in to CTN Lifestyle, then they'll watch it. That's cool. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, Appreciate you both. You. It's great connecting. I know this is the first time that we sat down, but yeah. you guys are wonderful people. Thank you. I love your heart for God, the city, youth ministry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm praying for you all that. It'd just be more, you yeah. know what I mean? So thanks for being on the show, guys. Yeah, thanks for having thank us. You. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, listen, I want to take a moment to thank you as well for taking time out of your schedule. I know I say this every time I'm on the show, but look, if you watch this on Keen 17, I want to say thank you. And would you do me a big favor? If you watch this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the CTN Vegas channel. Maybe you're listening to this on iTunes or Spotify. If you haven't already subscribed, would you go ahead and click some button Wherever that's around here, I don't even know how it all works, y'all. You know what I mean? <laughs> but click the button that, that lets you uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you can get all the new episodes when they come out. Hey, listen, I love you. I'm so glad you're part of our CTN family. And we will see you next time right here on Las Vegas United. God bless you. Bye.